Well, thank you for having me out here today. Um, manufactured housing uh, was a significant part of my congressional di district for a long time in Southern California. It was the former home of uh, Fleetwood Manufacturing, the corporate headquarters. As you know, Fleetwood has uh, filed bankruptcy and has been uh, dissolved. It's an indication of the uh, challenges uh, in manufactured housing. Not because manufactured housing isn't quality housing, uh, not because uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's affordable, it's obviously affordable. Uh, it's because of primarily getting credit uh, in, the, in the marketplace to buy a manufactured house. Uh, unfortunately, it's kept uh, uh, a lot of people uh, from buying, uh, I think, uh, a manufactured house who, who would, folks who would, uh, would love to have one. Uh, so hopefully, uh, in the process of governance around here, we can uh, find a way to get credit markets, uh, more sustainable credit markets, uh, for manufactured housing. It's still a, a great way for a lot of people to go, especially in retirement communities and, and the rest. Uh, you know, you get a house for less than $150,000 on a piece of property, and, and that's still uh, a large part of the marketplace here in the United States, uh, in many uh, places throughout the country, especially in the Sunbelt areas. It's not, uh, ironically, as important as it used to be in Southern California because of the high price of housing. Uh, but in our neighboring states like Arizona, Nevada, uh, in other places, in some of the less uh, and more affordable places, uh, or less affordable places, I should say, or in the beach communities, they've created some interesting uh, manufacturing housing. As a matter of fact, I have a beach house in Newport Beach that's in a manufactured house. They made a little village on Lido Island uh, out of manufactured housing. Uh, Silvercrest uh, did that product. It's a very great. It's a great product. It was also in my hometown. Silvercrest Manufactured Housing is in there. Uh, they're a great outfit. So uh, I'm a real uh, fan uh, of, uh, of that housing, and I think also it's an exportable product. I think, you know, the military, if you've been out to, I'm on the Defense uh, Subcommittee on, on Appropriations, uh, and we uh, spend a lot of money on uh, manufactured housing because uh, we don't use tents a lot. And we still do, but many times we use these cubicles that uh, they're much more um, comfortable for the, the soldier and uh, and it works out better for, uh, for our military. So thanks for what you're doing, and I hope you have a great conference. And uh, if anybody has any questions, I'll be trying to, try to answer any.